welcome back guys so as the title says I found the problem I found the source to all my problems and my bacterial problems by the way I'm talking about not my problem personally <laughs> my bacterial problems so yeah well if you've been following along you'll know that I've been having an issue with some bacterial issues in pond <clears throat> um, a few fish have got various different different bacterial problems um, on the body fins mouth uh, various places um, I've been injecting Baytril to try and combat these issues um, I've gone through my full course of Baytril now um, my five courses that I was instructed to carry out um, to try and remedy this issue and the fish wasn't responding to it <clears throat> It wasn't getting any better, um, you know. Even though they've, they've all had the required dose that they needed for their weight, um, not one of the fish responded. Um, not one of them got better in any way, shape, or form. Um, now, unfortunately, the Tancho, I did the kind thing with that. Um, that went through all its five courses as well and yeah that it were in a terrible state um, and just looking at it it was just it was just unfair to to keep it keep it going as it were um, if you'd have seen what I seen there was no way it was coming back from that um, all its mouth were mashed up mouth bones broken and were in a terrible state so unfortunately I had to do kind of thing to that fish um, and put it out of its misery so that's the Tancho gone but like I say these other fish they've gone through the five courses um, well yeah they've not responded to the to the antibiotic now this has been getting on my nerves for some time so I've been trying to get to the bottom of the possible cause, what, what's caused this problem in the first place. Now, my water, in terms of my water quality, I know that my water quality has um, been fine. Um, this is only something that kicked up probably through, I don't know, maybe towards the end of the last season, through winter, you know, that's when it really started picking up. Um, and my, my water quality has been pretty much bang on like only, it's only now where I've started getting hints of slight nitrite just because they're back on food um, but I haven't been too concerned about that um, so I thought I'd start investigating further to where I, th where I think that the source might have come from now I was pretty confident that it wasn't Sorry, I'm rocking the phone about a bit. <laughs> I was pretty confident that the source wasn't from um, a, fish, a fish introduction. I was pretty confident about that. I, obviously, I couldn't be 100% certain because with these things, you never can be. Um, because different fish respond differently to different bacteria. One fish might not even show any symptoms of having, you know, carrying any. Um, bacterial disease or anything like that um, some don't um, but I, so I can't be too sure that it didn't come from a fish or oh, that's what I thought um, well then yeah I started doing a bit of digging not literally that's the one job I hate I haven't been digging <laughs> um, my pond um, that's clean and um, obviously got floor and wall algae nothing out of the ordinary um, the pipe where it gets flushed on a regular basis um, so I knew that there was nothing sat in my bottom drain in my shower that's fine I've got a drum filter 
Uh, so hopefully there's no there's no crap sat inside inside my filter, so to speak, apart from all that shit that was sat in my way shoot. Um, that was one thing that I thought could have possibly have, have led to the issue. Um, but obviously I've got a moving bed filter. Now I suspected nothing, if I'm perfectly honest, to do with my moving bed filter. I suspected absolutely nothing. Because in principle, a moving bed filter um, is really supposed to be self-sustaining. It's, it's moving beds essentially are a self-cleaning filter in principle. Now, where my problems where my problem has ris arisen is I started emptying my moving bed filter just to check it um, just on off chance um, I checked everything else and I was pretty confident that nothing else were, were um, leading to this issue so I took all K1 out started draining out water and I'm not joking, they were disgusting, absolutely disgusting. So what had happened with this moving bed filter is down at the bottom where my outlet is, where the, where the pump pulls the water through and back to the pond, it's got a guard on it, obviously to stop any K1 being pulled back through into the pond. Um, and what had happened is, is some K1 over time is, it's gradually been sucked down um, and sucked around the around the outlet guard, and it had all clumped up, um, just around the outlet, all clumped up. So over time, that's built up, and essentially, what that outlet's become is pretty much a static bed filter um, around outlet. Obviously, the the other the rest of the K1, what's not been what's not been sucked down has still been moving about but all around the um, outlet guard all the, a lot of K1 has just been clumped up around it so that part of the filter has essentially just been just been static so what's been happening is any fines or anything like that that's been working its way through the system through drum filter and things like that it's all been getting caught by this K1 what's just been clumped up around outlet and over time it's just built up and it's all settled down to bottom of the filter and basically it's just created a death trap in bottom of my filter pondo man i'd love it <laughs> um no but no seriously though it's it's been a death trap waiting to happen um it's just been a breeding a breeding ground for for all things deadly and i've, I've kicking myself really because well I wouldn't have expected it to be a moving bed filter in a, mo in a million years because like I say it, a moving bed filter in principle is is self-sustaining um, if they run if they're running right and they set up properly you shouldn't need to really clean a, mo a moving bed filter um, but anyway that's what's been happening it's it's all clumped up around outlet um, yeah and it's just been catching the K1 that's been clump, clumped up has just been catching a load, of, a load of crap that's been working its way through, and it's just, it's just all settled, settled in bottom of the filter, and created a, a breeding ground for bacteria. I'll put a screenshot up on, um, on screen, um, and you can see what, what I found. So yeah, there you have it. Pretty disgusting, and I'm pretty. I'm pretty disgusted with myself if I'm if I'm perfectly honest with you um, for not finding it sooner because I could have I could have saved uh, my tancho um, so yeah and I wouldn't have been having this issue now um, but anyway there's nothing I can do about that now it's all been cleaned out um, I can't live in the past I've got to move forward um, and. I've come up with a solution so it never happens again. So what I've done 
is just above the outlet. Um, oh, I'll flip camera around. So the outlet's down down there. If we look inside the filter, obviously you're not going to see it now because it's it's back up and running. But basically, what I've done all the way around the perimeter of the filter down at the bottom, all the way all the way around there and all the way around there, I've created like like a shelf out of some some um, edging strip and I've secured it to the sides of my filter just like that so it just just sits in my filter like that down at bottom just above the outlet so if you imagine that all the way around bottom of my filter just above the outlet that's what I've got all the way around and then what I've got is I got myself some some of this stainless steel mesh um, these holes are five mil holes um, but this came as a um, a 600 mil square sheet this did um, so what I've done is I've cut it down to size um, and this is sat obviously in a full sheet um, throughout the whole um, filter at, at the bottom just above the outlet so no media can get sucked down um, onto the outlet so basically what happens is that just sits on sits on those um, on those edging strips just like that and then these holes here to fasten it down into place so it can't move is I've just used a, um, some cable ties just to tie it down so that's what's in bottom of there just above the outlet and um, just a big stainless steel sheet what keeps the media separated from the bottom of the chamber so it can't get sucked down onto outlet so basically about about 200 mil at bottom of the chamber is just just all water there's nothing else in it and um, so it's coming in there flowing through down through the media and then back out the bottom um, so yeah nothing should ever settle in bottom of there again so yeah that's what's been causing all my problems we live and learn we live and learn sometimes unfortunately you have to learn the hard way uh, but I'm confident now that well I mean until until I found that um, no matter how much treatment I did to these fish um, antibiotic wise or anything like that they were never they were never going to get better I'll fight in a losing battle because the source of the infection was was still sat in the water so they were never going to get better anyway but now that I've removed the source I'm hoping fingers crossed that I can start and get them somewhat like again the good thing is that these fish what are in here now and um, the ones that have got the issue although they've not got better thankfully and fingers crossed they haven't got any worse so what I've been doing is obviously I've been keeping in communications with Paula um, Paula Reynolds at Lincolnshire Fish Health she's been giving me lots of advice on what my, what my next steps are um, but up until I found this I mean I've not spoken to Paula yet um, as, as, um, as I'm making this video I've not spoken to Paula yet about the issue what I found so um, well, these fish are going to continue to be trekked now and I'm going to carry on with, with my courses and hopefully now that the source has been identified and rectified I can get on top on it so yeah I mean as, as pissed off as I am at myself I'm, I'm also more so relieved um, relieved in a way that that I found that because it's given me some answers um, I know that might sound a bit daft to say I'm relieved that I found it found that but it's given me a bit it's given me it's given me um, it's given me answers as to why my problem um, has happened in the first place and um, so yeah what I'm about to do now is get the fish out again that need treating um, it's treatment day again today the last one was what day we're on today Wednesday the last one was Monday and um, so um, it's every other day so 
today is going to be the first treatment after getting rid of the source of the problem and um, so hopefully fingers crossed we start to see some improvements now so for the time being that's going to be about it there's not much more I can say just thought I'd let you guys know that the problem's been identified and um, I'm working to resolve it now by putting them through another course now that the problem's been rectified so catch you back later guys